Hey everybody, this is Veronica with Project Food Forest and I just I'm doing some great propagation right now and thought I would show you what I do. So here we've got some grape cuttings. I just uh, pruned my grapes and when you prune them it's helpful if you take all of the trimmings that you take off and keep them all in the same direction so that um, the part where you cut is at the bottom and the tip is up at the top. So then what you want to do is you want to have three nodes and a node is this part right here like a joint and it had a, it has a bud on it. So you want to take see if you can see this here the bottom node and you want to cut it right underneath the node close enough that there's no excess but not so close that you damage the node so then there's your bottom and then you go one up and then you go another one up and you cut it um, it's like an inch or so up inch or two up from the node and so that inch or two serves a couple of purposes. One sec, bud. The first purpose is that now you know this is the top, and this is the bottom, and also this is kind of a little handle. Okay, you So here you've got your stack of sticks with three or more nodes on them, and then you're going to take some rooting hormone and they sell it in liquid form or powder form. Just follow the directions based on what kind you get. Okay, so for this powder rooting hormone, I've put some in a bowl and then the wind blew the bowl over so I have some on the ground too. <laughs> I have a bowl of water. Um, also, if you don't want to buy the rooting hormone and you have access to a willow tree or a willow shrub on, on hand, you can just make a tea from the bark or the wood of a willow tree and um, that will just serve the same purpose. So then you'll take one of your cuttings and you, you want to put the bottom part, remember the top has the, the excess on the top, so you want to take the bottom part, get it wet, and then get a bunch of not a bunch. Put some <laughs> rooting hormone on there. And then you will put it in a pot or a flat with soil in it. And the reason you don't want excess on the bottom is because that's going in the soil and anything under the soil is anything excess under the soil is going to rot. So anyway, you know, um, I would finish all of these up, fill up this flat, and I'll probably have more than a flat, and then you just keep watering it and then and check it once in a while and kind of just pull a little bit and if there's any kind of resistance, check a little bit farther and investigate a little more and you'll probably find some roots coming out of those nodes. Um, so when you've got some roots then you can go ahead and transplant them in two pots and I think it's usually recommended that you keep them in a pot for the first year and then you can transplant it into the ground. Not necessary. Some people skip the flat straight away, put it into the ground and do it that way so that works too. I think you get a little bit more of a success success rate when you do it. This way you just have more control over it so this is the way I do it. But Okay, so here I'm done. I gave up because I have enough more grape plants than of course I'll ever need. But I'll be able to use them in public food forests and maybe even sell some to make some money. When you're keeping these wet and waiting for them to root, you want to keep them in a, a cold place. So keep them outside so they don't leaf out because if they leaf out before they take root, um, you may not get any roots at all. So just keep it outside and remember to keep watering it. I just keep it by my door so I remember. But 
Like I said, you can just put them in the ground too if that works too. Bye, Mama. Bye. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.